gentlemen, it is now time for our co-main event of the evening. It is set for three five-minute rounds at 145 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner, please welcome Alejandro Rodriguez. That's right, first pro MMA bout of the evening for our co-main event. Alejandro Rodriguez making his way to the cage. He is a factory X fighter. We've been watching a lot of those guys make their way to the UFC recently. Well, just by gyms, this is going to be a good fight. Yes, indeed. List his style as freestyle. Hometown is Texas. Mr. Rodriguez has a 2 and one amateur MMA record as a professional, 1-1. One and, one. and he's the second fighter out of the Factory X gym with the nickname The Hurricane. Ah! How about that? How about that? Referencing, of course, UFC fighter Ian the Hurricane Heinish. I do know the result of that fight, but I'm not allowed to tell you. Checking out the tail of the tape here. Rodriguez, the younger fighter, 27 years old. They are even in height at 5'5". And Bushman, my goodness, look at that experience advantage. 12 and 22. That's a lot of cases. Yeah, 34 time. fights. Had some success and then kind of struggled a little bit. Uh, they're calling this the comeback now for him. He's been uh, out of competition for quite some time, but maintaining act activity within the sport as a coach. So definitely has the fight IQ going into here and has always been a gentleman that keeps himself in good shape with Bushman and see how it plays out. Been hanging out with all the younger guys in the gym. Sometimes that fire just never dies. And his opponent, fighting on Larry H. Miller, Auto Group Blue Corner, featuring Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat on Havana. Please welcome Nick Bushman. Bushman with a 22-1 amateur record, 19 knockouts. But sometimes you go to the pros, things change a bit. 12-22, and 22, had a, a little bit of tough luck, but wants to get back. And this is the start of that mountain and that climb. I saw the, a group of his fans over there, and they all have shirts on. It has the comeback on it. So nice. obviously it's something he's put a lot of time and thought into, JR. Nice to have that support. I remember, I remember calling Rodriguez's fight with you before. Entertaining fighter. Oh, yeah. my goodness. This is going to be some fun. With the amount of experience the Bushman has, although he's been out for quite some time, I wonder, is there ring rust? You know? <laughs> I think it's a fair question, Jr. Yeah. Well, I'm past my bedtime, are, I think, 10.20. Are, are we keeping you up? Well, I, you know what that. it is? We've had a lot of fights. <laughs> this is the first time in a long time, JR, at least when you and I have done it in the last year or two, that we've had this many fights go the distance. Yeah. The last three haven't. Average in those 10-second fights, you know. Dan Bushman, back in the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, now, this co-main event is brought to you by Brandon Dodge. Let's meet our fighters first. Fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner from San Antonio, Texas, representing Factory X, Alejandro the Hurricane Rodriguez. And his opponent, fighting out of Larry H. Miller Auto Group Blue Corner, featuring Chrysler Dodge Ram Fiat on Havana. From Arvada, Colorado, representing Genesis Training Center, Nick Bad Boy Bush. Man. Two of the best training gyms in the state of Colorado, no doubt, and uh, really in MMA. Right, gentlemen, this is the co-main event. We've been through the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up if you want. It is professional MMA, so it's five-minute rounds. You are allowed to knee to the head of your opponent while you're standing, and you can use the point of the elbow as a weapon. Whereas in the elimination or the amateur division, you have to strike with the forearm or the tricep. Here we go, touch him up and roll. 
So Bushman, we know he's going to want to, he's uh, primarily a striker. Rodriguez comes out, powerful leg, leg kicks. Kick, yeah. Big knee comes up the middle for Rodriguez. Bushman able to trap it. See if he lets it go or if he tries to go for the takedown. Boy, both these guys putting oh, out some. just a frenetic pace. Yeah, absolutely great effort. Elbows, knees. You see the power of Bushman. Rodriguez, nice chopping elbow in there. Rodriguez looks calm. He does, and Bushman going for the takedown. Rodriguez trying to secure back position. Yeah, it looked like he had that whizzer in. Good leg work by Rodriguez. Settling into side control now. Going with those point of the elbow attacks that we talked about. Those will slice an opponent open. Bushman fighting from that below position, trying to stay busy. Rodriguez was cool and calm when he came out. Very much so. Rodriguez in a room full of killers every day. Absolutely. And corner Rodriguez calling for Neon Belly, and he's going for it. Bushman gets the buck and roll. Good escape by the bad boy. Yeah, tried to get into full mount right there. Bushman didn't want to let him do it. And as fast as these guys have been going, the corner of Rodriguez saying, push the pace. Interesting. Trying to get that guillotine in? What's he got in there right now? Not really no. working the guillotine, just no. had control one of the snap down for the takedown. Both hooks in. Solid back control. You got to be impressed with the fact that Rodriguez has been so calm, JR. And speaking of calm, he just looks over to his corner, takes instruction. Listens to what they're saying. Better position here to try to set in the rear naked choke than when he was flat on his back. He has a little more room to arch and work his shoulder position here. When he was flat on his back, his head was up against the cage. Absolutely. A little bit of his mobility was shut down. And really nice leg entwinement work being shown by Rodriguez. Stepping over for the yeah, armbar. Bushman. Beautiful transition. And that was, was it? it. Just that fast. That step over wow. was so quick. Very nicely done by the Factory X fighter. Congratulations. That was quick. Going home with the win. That yeah, arm was. bar was like lightning yeah, right well, there, once, and it did well, some damage. Once you step over like that, you're basically uh, belly down arm bar position, and you can and get you the entirety of your body weight up against just the elbow joint very quick. And you crank on that. Really nice transition. Hopefully, we'll see that transition on the Larry this is. Miller replay here. Once he steps his leg over, just really a great transition. This is where he was working back control, doing a good job with the leg work. It just brings that right leg over the top. Bam, yep. right Boom. there, it's locked in. Just cranks on it, and Bushman just that quick has to, has to give up the submission victory in his comeback. And well, Bushman. that comeback was a tough one right there, and there was some damage done to his his elbow right there, JR, and you can see that it's bothering him. Yeah, possibly pop the joint capsule yeah. there. Bushman making his way up to his feet now. Ah, that's unfortunate. Hopefully it's not a dislocation or anything too serious. There's a a bony prominence at the end of the elbow joint that can sustain a crack in it if you get hyperextended too much. Hopefully that's not the case here. Just some soft tissue damage and yeah, maybe get, get maybe get some kind of resting a, time. Get something there to to hold him up and a sling so he's taken care of right away. We'll take it up, to Big Mo. He'll give us the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Wambacher calls a stop to this contest at 2 minutes 20 seconds of the first round, declaring a winner by submission by an armbar, Alejandro the Hurricane Rodriguez. Rodriguez is making some waves early on in his pro career. Sure I, is. I think he's one to watch for 2020. Congratulations to the Factory X fighter. He'll get a word with Bailey Winters after we get a word from our sponsors. All right, I'm here
here with your winner, Alejandro Rodriguez. You looked really good out there. You were laying in some nice elbows and knees in the clinch, controlled him on the ground. What was your game plan tonight? Uh, honestly, it was just to come out and show who I am. Um, so a lot of you guys, uh, hopefully we're here at my last fight, but I've been fighting for 10 months to get my kids back. Um, they were taken from me and it was, it was a lot of drama, it was a lot. I went through everything. So I just wanna put out the message for those of you out there who are going through something, know that if you keep a positive mindset and you know that you're doing the right thing, it will get better. It absolutely will, because I can't tell you guys, I'm here and I would have never imagined this in the, like ever after everything that happened to me. And uh, for you who don't know, this is Ali and this is Elijah. They aspire to be good fighters one day too. So hopefully uh, they'll be in the Sparta cage one day too. Obviously a very special moment with your kids here tonight. They got to see you fight. What did you guys think of your dad's performance? I thought it was great. <laughs> what did you think? Good. <laughs> it was good and great. Um, what's gonna be next for you? Are you hoping to fight again soon? Uh, you know, it's really not up to me. I got hooked up with the Factory X guys, you know, my last fight, and they've, they've changed me as a person. They've changed me as a fighter. I can't thank those guys enough. It's truly from the bottom of my heart, they saved me from a dark place. And so whatever the coach and the friends, uh, or my friends, whatever the coaches and, and, and my teammates say, I'm always down. I'm, I'm here to perform and show you guys that we are the best gym in the world. You're a very welcome addition to the Sparta Combat League family. It's great to have you training here in Denver now. Um, hope to see you back again soon. Congratulations on the great fight. Thank Good you. job. Whoa, 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 slow up there. I'm not sure where you think you're going. Do you know who I am? Do you know where you are right now? Well, I'm Big Mo, and this is Sparta, and we don't just let anyone go out there and fight for us. You see, if you're not ready to walk out into that ring, look around and see all those fans going crazy, then I'm gonna need you to turn around and walk the other way. Oh, you are ready. All right then, go to SpartaSC.com and fill out the fighter application. I think we're ready to ride.